Now, there's one type of content that makes me absolutely cringe and invest at the same time. People who post their relationship beef on the internet and start having a roast battle online. She doesn't wipe her ass. And then she comes and he's like, he tried to suck his own kukumba. They start exposing each other. They go ballistic on each other. And everyone is like, do not do this on the internet. Go in private. But first, tell me more. This is what this community represents. We all identify here, 19,000 people. We identify as 80-year-old grandmas sitting in our old chair by the window, looking down on the everyone, meaning the internet, and just judging everyone. Someone does something messed up. You donkey! And 2024 couldn't wait until August, so he decided to surprise us in July for the 10th time with another youtuber who just got exposed for having mr ava activity mr t lexify now this situation is a little bit complicated because the ages are not that big of a difference and, we, and like we talked about in the last couple of videos it is in the high school bubble 18 19 years old and 16 17 years old and when i first discovered this drama i wasn't really interested in making a video and talking about it but over the past three days Shit went ballistic. Mr. YouTuber Lex and his ex, the minor at the time, a few years ago, they started having a battle online as well, exposing every single thing about each other. I'm talking chat logs, Google documents, blackmailing, videos, more Mr. Ava minor activities with other people. They start going so deep into detail and exposing each other, which was extremely unnecessary. The chat logs are so disturbing where I got out of, I was literally out of my chair standing like this and just reading the whole thing. I couldn't believe my fucking eyes. But how did this YouTube drama start? Who started it? Whose fault was it? Who came forward first? We got to go back at the beginning. Now, if you don't know what Mr. Lux, 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 T. Lex, Mr. Ava, Mr. T. Lexify, if you don't know what he posts on his YouTube channel, he has 1.5 million subscribers and he's been posting over the past few years, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombie videos. And the way these Black Ops 3 zombie YouTubers keep their audience entertained is when they make a new map and they go play on that new map. It is not the same thing over and over again. Just like Roblox, Minecraft, Fortnite, you create a whole new world, you customize it. Think of it as GT, uh, GTA RP. And this company, Green Run Productions, came forward and said that this transit map is getting remastered and we are going to have a Patreon monthly subscription on whoever wants to start playing in this map. Subscriptions were all the way from $10 to $650 a month this is some monthly payments the more you pay the better access you will have to the whole thing the company had around 200 something paid members but they never came forward with releasing the map even though people were paying still on monthly basis but they were not getting anything in return every time this company comes up it's like guys tomorrow 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 we'll talk about it it's okay just just wait pay another subscription next month and then we'll talk about it more multiple people multiple youtubers they start calling this company out on why are are they taking money and they're not giving to the people who are paying a monthly basis what they they're paying for basically and a name came up mr danny danny is the one who allegedly has been creating these maps and people called them out on why is it not being released this is obviously a scam now mr danny released this statement now i'm not gonna read through this if you're interested into this drama just pause it and read basically he said this doesn't affect me in any way as i don't even make it i don't even take any money from this project someone else does meaning I have no role in this. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're accusing me of wrong things. And last month, a small YouTuber came forward and made a video which got over 200,000 views going into very deep details on, on proving that these pieces of shits are scamming and taking people's money. Probably thought that he put all this to bed and he was gonna get away with it and ride off into the sunset. But you'll never guess who actually made an appearance. The guy who made the t7 patch for black ops 3 shiver soft dev this really isn't the kind of guy you want to get into it with so the savior of black ops 3 here shows up like batman when we need him most and he shuts all of this shit down so he quote tweets danny here and he says hey guys here is undeniable proof that this guy is lying when a fast file is built by the map creator their pc id is recorded as part of the file header as you can see both water park and 
transit being the transit maps that were uploaded onto the Steam Workshop, have the same identifier recorded. There's plenty of other proof we have, but this is concrete. So I think this kind of speaks for itself. It's definitely undeniable concrete proof that we have here linking Danny to Green Run Productions. And Lex thought it would be a good idea to respond to this whole thing and back up the company. In response, other zombie YouTubers came forward with the drama and they started talking shit about Danny and saying, who the f let Lex speak on anything in this community. He's genuinely the dumbest donkey ever. Someone who's rightfully deserved and being kicked out of the community for stealing thousands of dollars from people is getting defended by someone who is the with the most largest influences in this community. They start absolutely shitting on Lex for defending this whole scam. And this is where things got juicy. A third person came forward and decided to, you know what? Let me add more f fuel to the fire. I don't see enough fire. He posted, dude likes miners, by the way. Posting a picture of Lex's ex saying, uh, LMA, oh, basically she said that my boyfriend in the past two years and seven months has been cheating on me. This is in 2019. And then in the next picture, it confirms that, that in 2021, she is almost 21 years old. So 2021, she's almost 21 years old. You go back to the 2019 post, which means she was around 18 years old and then she says the past two years and seven months meaning that she was 16 at the time where they started dating and Lex being born in 1998 meaning he was 19 years old and obviously after this a lot of people started talking about him a lot of people were tweeting about him making fun of him where they were just absolutely shitting on him for after this whole 19 and 16 years old thing came out now I don't know which state he lives in this is it legal do I think 19 and 16 16 they can be together if they're still in high school it's a little bit weird i feel like 18 and 16 would make more sense but when you get out of high school you're like 19 and 20 yeah still going with 16 17 it's weird you're not in the high school bubble anymore when i was 18 years old yes i've been with some people who were you know 16 17 because i was still in the high school i was going on dates and stuff but the second i graduated i was 19 years old literally all my exes back when i was 19 were 24 years old 27 years old 21 years old 25 years old even i've dated someone who was 30 years old and if you're wondering how i used to pull back then i had money at a sport motor cycle i had a good fucking game my game was top top of the game i had hair i was skinny fit and i was very outgoing but more of the story 1920 you're weird if you go and that's when it becomes illegal and you're out of the high school bubble and it doesn't count anymore the age difference is weird but it's not that weird it's not like he's like 25 or 30 years old you know what i mean now after all this conversation did mr lex decide to cody code this shit dj his way into silence Nope, he decided to doctor disrespect the shit out of this. He was milking himself, trying to make himself look like a victim in this situation with the whole minor thing and took the ex, threw her under in the, in the zombie pit where everyone, meaning Twitter, is going to attack her for absolutely no reason. It just gets worse from here. This is the statement that released. I'm not going to read all of this. I'm just going to summarize it for you. It basically says there's three people who absolutely hate me, naming them by name over here. There's Renzato, SBP, and Dig Dog 7 He says this been people have been targeting me, trying to cancel me. They've been harassing me, and they've been making fun of me, basically. Long story short, they're trying to cancel me. Now, this is where things got interesting. On the second line says, my ex and I met when we were both minors as a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old. She wanted to date me, but I had consistently told her that we were too young and we had decided to remain as friends. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. Yes, you're watching right now. I want you to pay attention to both these pictures on how they look. Who do you think rejected who? Do you think if that girl came to this guy and he would have been like, no, I have to respect the age of consent. That is his first lie over there. I don't even need evidence in this situation. A horny 17 year old who is just going through hormones and wants to shoot out correctors 24 seven. You're telling me if someone like that comes up, you would say no. <laughs> we then later decided to date and ended the relationship because I wanted to get out of the relationship as we weren't a good fit. We had gotten back together multiple times as, as adults until I have realized I have been cheated on with her by a minor behind my back. I had never gone public about this information until now because this has brought so much pain in my life trying to understand the, situa the whole situation and I had paid for so much 
of her life and wanted nothing but the best for her. And she led me on for years until I realized that she cheated on me for a 17 year old when she was 21 years old. Lex, why? Why did you even have to bring this up? This is so unnecessary. This is like when you're going under the bus, but then you bring people under the bus as well, or your zombies are attacking you. This is exactly what he did. He took the girl, threw it in front of the zombies, Kill, eat her first. And he starts playing the victim in this situation. Lex, you're not a hot girl who can play the victim in this situation and be like, I was in through so much pain and all the guys come in your DMs. Oh my God, I hope you get better. This was absolutely unnecessary. Trying to shit on someone with false information. Just try to make yourself look good so people will back off from you and be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry you went through that. This whole thing didn't even have anything with each other. You were with someone 16 when you were 19, but then you come forward and say, at the time I was 17, she was like 14, 15, but we didn't date, but then later on we dated. And dot stop. But then you go forward and say she cheated on you and she cheated on you with a minor accusing her of, um, you know, Mr. Ava behavior. I have an active seize and disease against my ex for blackmailing, extortion, harassment, and against me. Bro, why are you sharing this? My ex has tried to miss contrued stories to paint me as a villain such as the time i had a fan who was a minor messaging me when i have opened my up my dms i have never gone out of my way to ever message anyone who is a minor nor do i entertain these conversations once i figure out the person i'm talking to is a minor i call this cap to he looks like a natural when he gets like a million subscribers he's automatically going to like minors I have only ever tried to date someone who is my age, which I am currently doing. And because of the situation like these, I will not be publicizing my private life anymore. Really? You think you think it's enough right now, right? Now it's enough. Please share more if there's anything left to even say as this have what this has costed me poor Lex poor you Lex I hope I hope your feelings get better I would like everyone to know the amount of pain and suffering I have gone through oh with this whole situation and wanted nothing but the best for everyone involved but this harassment has reached its limits for me and it is a massive release that I had to get finally get disclosed this information as my ex have been trying to destroy my career with my online YouTube friends family and my entire life. I don't know if he woke up, he chose violence that day. He just decided to go ballistic on everyone, especially the ex. Or the devil came and tickled his uh, booty hole and was like, drama, ca cause chaotic thing and play the victim. You will win in this situation. Did he become the victim that he was aiming for? Fuck no, because the ex posted this. I feel so violated that I even have to make this statement. I've kept my mouth quiet for eight years. After reading this, I was like, ooh, drama. Same day she posted this, Mr. Lex, please do not lie on my name before I post all these evidence I have of us hanging out when I was 16 years old and you were 19. This is so wrong of you to try and flip it on me. Now, there is another video of them, him grabbing the melons, smooching each other, exchanging lips, but I'm not going to show you. Even when I watched it, I felt, I felt very pervy. Moving on. She went on to say, by the way, I'm a 16-year-old, and Lex is a 19-year-old, grippling my uh, melons at the Zao's party. I was drunk and high out of my mind. You are so effing evil for trying to flip this on me. Why not tell everyone about how you put me... How you put me in your will. Why not tell everyone about you choked me and you told me you were going to unalive me. I found out you were messaging barely illegal girls at 26. This is why I pay for the internet. Juicy drama. Now going forward with this video, I'm going to spice things up. I'm going to be showing her a response, then his response, then her response. And by each response, you are going to gasp. Lex coming up with a left hook saying visual confirmation that my ex has tickled a 17 year old when she was 21 years old and cheated on me as an adult. Signature and date. I honestly cannot read the handwriting. I'll just let you figure it out if you can. Now, is this a diary? Is this a signature? nature of the whatever the fuck this is these people are just weird mrs rent coming in with the uppercut i'm honestly so overwhelmed and sad lex has been trying to scare me for the past years with legal actions i will be making a formal statement complying all the evidence i have over the past eight years skype calls twitter dms real life photos the times lex put me put his hands on me the times he supplied me alcohol and uh, sh illegal sugars as minor 
everything. I will not sit here and lose to my abuser and groomer. I have already lost the most important years of my life. Lex said, for anyone thinking I withheld evidence, I told the parents of the minor and let them decide what criminal punishment was it was deserving. Ren comes in with the objection. I am not a PDF file. I have never uh, tickled anyone. Lex is lying on my name to try and deflect any hate coming towards me. I did not uh, tickle a 17-year-old and the fact that I have to say this is disgusting. Lex knows he's a PDF file, which is why he's trying very hard to grasp a straw. Lex tickled me when I was 16 years old and he was 19 years old. I told Lex multiple times that I didn't want to have shakalaka boom boom, but he would persist and beg me. Mr. Lex, I thought you said no, it, this is not good and I respect the age of consent. I told her no. Wh what happened? I never wanted to lose my virginity to Lex. I have the proof. I have the evidence. I just need time to make the timeline. Now, this is where things get really uncomfortable. And I'm going to take you through a 30 seconds of uncomfortable text messages between Mrs. Wren and Mr. Lex over here. So prepare yourself. Now, apparently, this is the conversation that happened between Lex and Wren when this was two years ago, where they were having a conversation about the cheating part and them breaking up. And as the evidence shows that Miss Wren indeed was with a 17-year-old, but I wasn't really paying attention to that because my eyes were on the disturbing text messages. A whole six minutes of them just cringing, dying from the inside, wishing that I had Clorox next to me so I can swallow that shit. There's a lot of shut the fuck ups happening. I have standards. This is him, by the way. This is Lex who screen recorded six minutes of him embarrassing himself to post this to show proof, just to show proof of that her being with, at Coachella with someone who underage. Now, I don't think this whole thing was necessary, Mr. Lex. Maybe you could have just shared one screenshot, not a whole six minutes, almost seven minutes of you just embarrassing yourself. But I guess he wanted to show that she's an abuser in this situation as well. There's a lot of begging in this situation. No, baby, no. I used to only think about you. I ruined my life over you. I would rather ruin my life over Lawrence. Lawrence is the 17-year-old in this situation. Oh my God, I am so sorry. This is a very hard to watch. Maybe I'll go over it on stream, but let's get, let's get to the main parts. I hope my new body is better suited for you. I'm being suppressed and I... Okay, photo. Okay, I don't want your body. I understand. I liked Lawrence's body. Lex, why are you still talking? T this is so bad. This just gets worse and worse every second you go forward with this. Oh my fucking god. Okay, okay, you damn fuck. Okay, oh my god. This is just so bad. <laughs> Like, I'm actually cringing so hard from inside just reading this whole thing. I'm gonna cringe you with a few more texts over here. Can we please be lovers eventually? He told me to stop talking to you and find my own path. Can I please marry you? What fuck's sake, Lex? Right before he left me. No, baby, please. I miss him so bad, meaning Lawrence. I want to be there with you. No, this is a nightmare. How is this happening? I feel like I'm suffocating. Die. <laughs> Now, this is where she confessed. How was Lawrence 17 opening doors for me? I opened doors now. I'm sorry I didn't before. Lawrence wanted me like no one ever wanted me before. He showed me interest from the moment I met him. I want... Okay, we're not gonna go through this more. This is just torture just to watch Lex embarrass himself. Literally, this is all Lex needed to post. How was Lawrence 17 opening doors for me? This is where people started saying, no way, both of you are predators. Both of you are this and that. You all need Jesus. She apologized. She said that she didn't address it in the last deleted twitch i should have addressed the age lex is claiming which are wrong i was more focused on pushing out the fact that he had been physical abusing doing the whatever he's trying to use against me i have years worth of trauma coming out right now and i don't know what to talk about first well mrs ren this is what you replied to lex when he said that she he was Lawrence was 17 and you were 21 when you hooked up in Coachella. Your reply said to clarify I was 20 years old and my friend was 18. No, I did not tickle him. Lex is trying to deflect the actual evidence of him tickling me and grooming me. So the way it looks like we just got two liars who are trying to play the victim and just are going ballistic and going ex exposing each other. Now, this is the part where you say, okay, they're both idiots. They're both just stupid people, donkeys on the internet. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, that is where I come forward and say, you are wrong, my friend, because now we have 
Google documents. It gets better. Here she posted more videos of them together and doing some haram stuff on the video. This is a video Lex sent a young girl who asked for verification if he was real YouTuber or not. That he advertised himself as. So there has been some claims that he's been doing other shakalaka boom boom uh, EDP Mr. Ava behavior to other in underage girl where he was like older when he was like 21 years old this hasn't been proven but i don't know this hasn't been proven but let's go watch the video i want to talk about it. hello how are you you want me to put my thumb on my chin so there you go my first question is how did he get to pull someone like ren this is my first question second question why do i feel this is how most youtubers are outside of their battle station their yapping st st stations where they sit and they make youtube videos why do i think this is most people when they're out there trying to flirt <laughs> sending a verification hey this is actually me i'm that famous youtuber and just looking at lex i have no doubt that his dirty talk doing shakalaka boom boom sessions it, it goes like this Oh, I'm so close. I'm about to subscribe inside of you. <laughs> it's so obvious that most of these YouTubers, they have absolutely zero game, especially commentary channel YouTubers. Others like Kodiko, maybe they have game, but they use their game on, you know, underage people. It doesn't, we're not, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about people looking like, like, like commentary channels, basically. Like have some game. If you want to riz up a girl, if you want to slide into her DMs, go in the DM and be like, hey, Wanna shakalaka boom boom question mark? It works all the time. Now this is Miss Ren's Google document evidence exposing him. I'm not gonna read through it. Basically she says that he's a piece of shit. He's been grooming me. I've been traumatized. He puts his hands on me. This is a very highlighted point. And then she posts this saying love letters that Lex sent me apologizing for choking me and saying that he can never forgive himself. He signed this letter using his company name at the very bottom CEO. And why are they signing this shit? Am I the only one who finds this whole thing weird? Hey, I'm sorry for choking you. Is that a putting love Lex? Signed by company this, this, this. Why the fuck are you signing? There's no point of signing. And did Lex let us slide? Nope. More documents. I feel like this is going to be a very long video, but whatever. Fuck it. Title of it saying my story. February 11, 2021. This photo showed the bandage tape to my face after being bitten by a Regan, meaning, you know, the girl. The bit drew blood as underneath my chin. This happened after she had broke a wooden board on my back. What the fuck? A video made 22, uh, 24, 2022, a photo of me with a bruise mark on my cheek after Regan has started altercation by by Senate insulting me getting punched in a street fight. Yeah, I don't think this makes you look, bro. Probably shouldn't have added this one in this, your story. July 6, 2023, photo of proof that damages were paid by me after the Regan has outburst and destroyed the door at my apartment in 2022. The cause was for replacing the whole door because of her kicking and punching it. $1,400. November 19, 2022, photos of Regan on her Twitter account, uh, Pure Softy, direct messaging me to unalive myself. I had tried previously, apologize heard that she threatened to expose me and defame my online career so basically it was, a, it was just a toxic relationship where you were saying cringe disturbing shit at each other now this is where it gets interesting may 2021 until august of 2023 photo evidence of my ex using me for tens of thousands of dollars this is apparently was the blackmail going forward sending hundreds of dollars if not thousands of dollars all the way from january to this is just January. This is December of 2022, November, October. Basically, shit ton of money. And the message saying, this is the only way I see this working out. If I don't get money monthly, it's not worth it for me to go through this. This is how it's going to be, Lex. Seeing that exposed video that was almost three hours long that recently dropped on my Super Mega reminded me a lot that what I should do to you. Everything should have done in really fresh. I really want to lash out. Send me the tribute to calm down so I don't go on Twitter and ruin it for both of us. The more I speak, the more I agree. I cannot be with you. I want your money now. I'm going to make you send me more money if you keep being dumb. Like you're so effing stupid. September 15, 2022, Regan threatens to release a document of false allegations if I keep 
playing the victim. I'm not going to release the document, but it keep treating me like this shit, uh, saying dumb shit, and I will. Keep playing the victim, and I'll play... And I'll make you a victim. So many, there's so many more texts in this situation. If you guys want to go through it, go through it. I'm just going to summarize it for you. Long story short, toxic relationship. And they're both absolute donkeys. Both are wrong in this situation. These two absolute donkeys just came and embarrassed themselves. And showed what kind of a person they are. Which they didn't even have to if Lex wouldn't have opened his mouth in the first place. And just let it die down probably no one would have said anything to you if she was 16 and you were 19 people would have trolled you a little bit but the second you open your mouth and she got involved you two gave you gave us a very good i don't know how long this video is going to be a very good decent amount of drama but it is over i'm i'm so tired of talking about this whole thing but let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed the video give it a like give it a sub for these yapping sessions and take care of yourself i will see you me and megatron will see you at the next time